Mm, wow, I'm having a pretty interesting experience. I went and got myself one of Nikon's flagship digital SLR cameras. This thing is a beast. Um, full body, that's not an extra battery pack, that is just the the body uh, with some like, massive um, batteries in there. Battery will last forever. Um, and this, when it first came out, was over $5,000 in America. You can get it now for a heck of a lot cheaper. Uh, it's astonishing what this is. Uh, I, I've gone and bought myself a second hand, yeah, obviously a second hand, the Nikon D2X, um, which some of you may be like, there was something before the Nikon D3. Yes, there was. There was this. Um, and it was a 12 megapixel uh, camera, but it wasn't full frame. So even though it's this big old, um, big old thing, it wasn't a full frame sensor. It was an APS-C, so the same as what you get in the Nikon uh, D300, or, a, a, well, because it's 12 megapixels, but it wasn't the same sensor. The ISO performance of this is astonishing. It goes to a maximum of 800 ISO. It has a huge two and a half inch screen on the back. Oh, just, just amazing. What, what I've got here is what I would say is that was a pristinely kept condition. Considering this is a camera that came out uh, originally in about 2005, so this is 10 years old. Um, I haven't done any things to find out how many photos it's taken or anything like that yet, um, but uh, it's it's in good condition, like unbelievably good condition. Um, so yeah, 12 megapixels, uh, and it's, you know, you think, oh, okay, it could do loads of frames a second. Let's hear it. And that's it full. Yeah, only about four frames. Uh, uh, five, I think it's five frames a second. It did have a crop mode, a crop mode in an already a crop sensor, which took it up to a, a total of about seven frames a second. Um, but uh, and it's seven frames a second and down to about uh, seven megapixels as well. Um, so yeah, just astonishing how much technology has advanced. And I remember whenever I first got into photography, I remember seeing a photographer outside a bar where I was having a drink once. And uh, I saw the guy, he had this camera, I was like, no way, that guy's got a £3,000 camera at that time, I think it was about £3,000 before the D3 uh, came out. And I remember thinking, holy crap, that's, that's an awesome camera. Now, you can get this for a tenth of that price. So, oh, we ever bought these, I thought, I'll, I'll use it until it dies. They're so well built. They don't die. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, and uh, just looking at the images uh, so far that I'm getting from it, I've only really just stuck on my, uh, what do you call it, my fisheye lens on it, and uh, it's it's seeming pretty pretty good. Yeah. Uh, not no, no complaints with the images. And although, it's yeah, the white balance is shocking. Uh, it can't seem to get, it, like, putting an auto white balance, pretty rubbish there. Um, but other than that, uh, uh, so what this is going to be, this is going to be my test subject for um, just a, a benchmark for showing you how awesome current cameras are these days. Uh, I, I'll look, I'll also just having a quick look at DxO Mark uh, for sensor tests, and they've got a, a test of this from back in the day, and uh, wow, look at that noise profile. If we go to screen... Uh, it seemed to be even, yeah, better in print. So, if you're going to go for the Nikon D600 or D800, you're having equivalent ISO of 3200 ISO as what that was getting at around about 400 ISO. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. So, like, huge, huge performances increases, even in cheap uh, digital SLRs that you get um, today. You just cannot believe how good it is. Let's have a quick look at dynamic range as well. Oh! Oh, that's a shocker. That's a shocker. Yeah! Shooting that this camera at ISO 800 is max. I'm thinking 
it's almost as good to be a, a monotone image, just black and white. Uh, tonal range, yeah, it doesn't quite get to it. Miles behind in colour sensitive. <sighs> oh, but yeah, let's remember. But I, we'll, we'll go to the, 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 the one and only master of camera information uh, at the time, and that is Ken Rockwell. Oh, he was the man. He, he knows everything about all these cameras. Uh, and he was saying, hey, they were $5,500. <sighs> Ah, yeah, yeah, back in 2005, pretty awesome. And it really does show you just how much of a monumental leap in sensor technology the Nikon D700 and the D3 were, um, that, that by seeing what this is capable of, it just blows, uh, the D3 blew everything out of the water at that time. So this, uh, it could be my work camera, I could be giving it to my assistant, um, but uh, it's it's going to be my my baseline tester to show you examples of just how astonishing the uh, the image the images we're getting from modern day sensors. So yeah, uh, expect a full review of the Nikon D2X coming up soon. Cheers, bye bye.